So for this problem, we have to find out the total resultant force by these two forces. So what we have to do, I recommend you to on the scratch paper, try to kind of write down the solution step by step so that you know what is the information you needed to solve this problem. So we know the total resultant force will be equals to the two force member add together. So which means we have to write the force in the vector form. So now let's take a look how we are going to write the force in the vector form. Remember, if we were being given the magnitude, then force vector is equal to the magnitude. Multiply the unit vector in this force action line. You can see FB is in the line of A. B. So it will be the same thing here. The FC will be equals to its own magnitude. Multiply the unit vector of AC. So now, how we are going to write the unit vector from A to B? What we have to gather the information will be the location A and B. The same thing here, location A and C. So which means in order to solve this problem, find out the total resultant force, we have to firstly gather the information of each location here on the picture. From the picture, we can see A in this coordinate system will be 0, 0, 6. B location will be, so notice that the x will be from here to here, that's positive 2. However, b is in the negative y direction, so that's why we have to um, make negative 3 as y location for the b, and it's on the x, y, z plane, so that's 0. And then we can try to find the c location. So after you find all the location here, the next thing you need to do, you can see on the clue here, we have to find out the unit vector in the AB direction. Now always remember we are going to use end point minus the start point. So which means we are going to use B location minus or A location. And don't forget to unitize so that we are going to have the unit vector. Finally, we are going to do the same thing to write the unit vector in the AC direction. And remember, we are going to use the end point minus the start point. So when everything is ready, we can calculate the total resultant force. That will be the magnitude of the force B. Multiply the unit vector in the force action line A to B. So in our case, it will be 560 for the magnitude FB. Plus, FC will be 700. So you just do your calculation as carefully as possible. Finally, you had a vector form.
for your total result and force. So the magnitude of your total result and force will be I hat. Take the square root of each component. Finally, the magnitude of your force will be 1175 Newton.